everyone and welcome to my life in five games depending on how you feel is it a good day is it a bad day i'm not sure but i'm roscoe mcclelland and uh i'm reading some stuff yes here it is i'll tell you a little about myself very quickly i am a stand-up comedian mm, and also an avid gamer which stands for as always a video gamer <laughs> <laughs> In this series, I'm asking, oh, famous folk, famous folk, uh, about the five games that have had a huge impact in their lives. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I guess, I guess I've wanted on since episode zero, and this is the second episode, so we had to get Chris MacArthur Boyd on first, and he was lame. Let me welcome my guest for YLI 5G, your life in five games, is Ashley Story! Yay! Yay for me! Ashley, how do you feel to be floating through this uh, Tron maze? I'm really excited to be here. Um, I've never been in a Tron maze before um, and this is the first time. I feel a wee bit seasick but I think I'll get my Tron legs. How long have you been a gamer? I've been playing computer games since since as far back as I can remember. It was, I'm an how only... Far, how far back is that? Like when I was three? Oh, that's early. Or four? No. Uh -huh. wow, that's slightly later. And, just, just a bit later. <laughs> just a smidge. <laughs> But yeah, I, I, I was an only child and I was annoying, so oh, it was yeah. something to keep me occupied. Something to do, yeah. yeah. You ever play, was it, was it all video games or was it like phys physical games, like an abacus? Oh, I used to have an abacus and I'd pretend to be an accountant, but the noise annoyed my mum, so she took it away from me. <laughs> the t -t 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 -t. I know your mum and I can believe that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You know what, Ashley, tell us about yourself, you know, to, well, what are you, you're an octuple threat. I heard that in a, a, a video earlier on, she said, I'm, a, I'm, an, I'm an octuple threat, she was Australian, I thought it sounded great. Right. But tell us about all the threats you've got. Um, I'm a comedian, I don't know if that's threatening. Bang, that is threatening. Um, I make online videos. Online vids. That go very viral. Very viral, but nothing, nobody to, do with, nothing ever. to do with twiddling nips. No, no, nothing to do with twiddling nips. I think, you know, that's a great achievement, is yeah. 30 million hits, not a vag in sight. That's pretty good. <laughs> now that, put that on your gravestone. <laughs> put that on my gravestone. Except I don't want to be buried, I want to be frozen. Um, oh, like this show, the movie. Yeah. <laughs> Not a show. Is there a show coming out of that? They're making a TV? No, no, they're doing a live musical of Frozen. Oh, you done something as well, didn't you? Yeah, I toured yeah. for two years with Sing Along of Frozen. Oh, so that's another third threat. Yeah, third you threat. Big singer. Not really, no. I mainly just told really bad jokes during it for the mums and dads. Oh, well, about a, a joker. Oh, yeah, a joking singer. Joking singer. Um, I'm an amazing dancer. Super flexible. Four, five. Got a really, really deep gullet. Six. <laughs> no, Six. I don't. That's a lie. It's really shallow. No, Mum had to take me to the hospital because I kept vomiting when I was brushing my teeth. Wow. And then they fixed it. The NHS deepened your gullet. Thank you, NHS. Well done. No, thank the, you. The doctors. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, well, that's like a pelican. Yeah. They got a deep gullet. Oh, they've more got a deep waddle. Oh, hey, you know who else has got a deep waddle? Your mum. Yeah. <laughs> Her ass is so long. She has to waddle about. I can't think of any more threats that I've got. Um, You've got six right now. Have you got any, any threats you'd like to make to the, the people? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm chill. Don't, don't tweet me with hate. Tweet her. She'll threaten you. I will not. I'm very placid. I just, I don't, I don't react to trolls online anymore. I mute them. Have you ever seen the film Lake Placid? Yeah. I haven't. It's a terrible film. Is it really bad? I yeah. didn't like the cut of its jib. Oh, I didn't like the cut of its directing, that's what I'd say. Yeah. Uh, but I I've never seen it. So. Okay. Yeah. What happens in it? I don't know, there's this lake and it's like really chill. And then everything just goes off. Oh yeah, I bet it fucking does. <clears throat> Classic setup. Classic setup. Right, I tell you what, Ashley. Let's yep. get into game number one. Uh, we're going to do the first game that you ever bought. Tell us what game was that? I never bought it, right? right. But it was the first game I had. My granddad got me a Sega Master <laughs> <laughs> Um And I used to play Sonic the Hedgehog on it. 
and I loved it. It was my favourite thing, but I was really frightened of the spike pits, so my granddad would have to sit with me and jump for me. Oh, that's great. So you did all the spinning and running I did all the, 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 the ring collecting, yeah. catching all them rings, mm. and then my wee granddad would have to come in and do the jumps for me. Also, I was frightened of the, you know, the fat ginger guy who, like, lived in a pod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dr. Eggman. Dr. Eggman. Well, they, they call him Dr. Eggman. I know him as fucking Dr. Robotnik, right? Right, right, right. Don't try and change my memories just because it's canonic. That was a good use of canonic. I know, eh? Um, but yeah, he, he would, like, float at the end of the levels. Yeah. And then you'd have to, like, pop him. Yeah. And I would get frightened in that during those things as he well. He was scary, you know, and every time But I... why did he live in an egg? Like, why did he float about in a little hover dome? Like, I don't understand what his backstory was. Was that, like, some sort of mobility issue? Was Sonic, was he jealous of Sonic's speed? Yeah. What was, was Sonic stealing his rings? Were those his rings? Yeah, well, in my opinion, it was a literal backstory because I believe he had some kind of spinal disc issues. Did you see his wee legs? They were tiny. Yeah, is he wee tiny wee legs? If you're carrying about a circular body and tiny wee legs, you've got some spine compression there. R.I.P. Dr. Robotnik. But he was mean and frightening. He was mean and frightening, so he deserved to die. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've written in one note about Sonic. Uh, it was made in 1991 mm -hmm. by the Sonic Team. Isn't that incredible that they were called Sonic Team and then they made Sonic? No. No, is that not incredible? No, to you? that's not. That's not. Does Sega still make stuff? Sega makes uh, horrible decisions. Yeah, but I, do you remember like at the opening credits, like Sega. Yeah. I loved that. That was my favourite bit. Was singing along to the Sega. That would have been your first instance, really, of becoming this the the singing threat that you are now. Yep. 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 You like a Sega right in the camera? Sega! Oh, you know what was great about Sonic? I really could. Well, in the previous episode with Christopher MacArthur Boyd, I trashed most of his games because I hate him as a person. Um, but uh, Which is really weird because everybody thinks you're banging. Yeah, and we are. <laughs> and that's why we hate each other. Okay. Uh, it's like a hate bang thing, you know. That's the best kind of bang. Yeah. Right. What's your other point? Other things about Sonic? <laughs> yeah, let's get back to Sonic. Uh, I really like when he drowns. Yes! Yes! Even though my granny drowned, which is quite insensitive for oh, you to bring up. Sonic. But when Sonic drowns and he goes like... <laughs> it's little hands go up. Yeah. I wonder if that's was inspired by mimes, because they do that movement a lot, don't they? I hate mimes. They're like, oh, I'm in a... Well, like, when I see them pretending to be behind a wall, I'm like, are you drowning Sonic? That's a good That's so, a good, good point, mate. Yeah, that's good a good point. Good point, well made. Yeah, you get, you get anything else you want to say about that game, or are we done with that game? Um, I liked it, because there wasn't... You weren't trying to, like, rescue a princess. That is a great point in 2018. There was no princesses, no weird shit going on in Sonic. Because that always icked me out about Mario. Yeah. Like, why was that turtle so desperate to, like, take Princess Peach? Was she cool with that? No. It just made me uncomfortable. Well, that's us done with Sonic, uh, the first game, so let's go on to... What about the score? What about the score? Oh, I'll give, I'll give Sonic a straight up five out of... I mean, last time I wasn't giving them a, a top end so people could make their own top end up. But I'm going to give it a five out of... Mm, it's five out of a certain mm. amount of rings. Okay. If you know what I'm saying. So that's a good score. Yeah, yeah. If you're thinking five is the top end, but you think ten, why would you? It's a great fucking... Great game, great series. It's a fun... It was a fun... It was a really fun game. And yeah. it was, you know, you could go upside down and roll about and turn into a ball. Oh, one quick thing. You remember it was like Sonic 3 when Knuckles turned up? Knuckles. You... Fuck Knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what I'm going to be calling everyone else for the rest of the day. Me tell you, fuck Knuckle. Um, wow, no, I thought Knuckles was great, but it lured me into a false sense of security because I was forever calling him Knuckles the Edgina. Only like last year I realised you're supposed to say it Echidna. Oh! Yeah. Oh my goodness, how embarrassing for you. How embarrassing, especially when I went to 
a zoo in Adelaide and I seen one and I was like, look at this edge, you know, and they're like, what? And I'm like, you mean the echidna? And I was like, no. No way. It's so embarrassing. Yeah, but he had, I mean, he had knuckles. Like, he could climb up walls with his knuckles. You can't do that in real life. I had sex in a big wheel in Adelaide. How big was the wheel? Huge. <laughs> 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 a member of the Territorial Army in Australia. Thank oh, you. Oh yeah, if you know what I'm saying. The TA, Tetanus. So. <laughs> what was the last game you bought? It was Mario Kart on the Switch. Wow, Cuck Kart. Uh, I've not played it yet though. Yeah, well... I bought it and then never played it because I bought it and Stardew Valley at the same time and then I got very into Stardew Valley. So you bought it, you've never played it. No, nope. uh, so I bought it just to fit in with people because everybody had it and I thought, oh, I'll get it and then I'll play it with people and then I never played it. Uh, so Ashley, we've yeah. got Mario Kart here uh -huh. and the Tron Maze. We're going to play a little game of it right now. You okay, I'm excited. I don't know what buttons to press though, so don't be a bitch to me. Do you want, oh no, I'll do that. I will absolutely slam you into the ground at this. That is the way to do it. Right, well, I'm going Bowser Jr. because that's... I'm on Luigi. Oh, oh Luigi, yeah. It's not going to matter. Do you want to we'll do the nice easy cups for you? Yes, please. Yes, yeah, right, the, the nice easy. Press, press, uh, press the start. Now, do you know you're aware of the buttons? No, no. So this is your little go button. Go. Burr, 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 burr. This is your little uh, jump and skid button. Jump and so skid. So you jump and skid around the corner. It gives you a boost. Uh -huh. you hold the skid, you boost off. Uh -huh. Uh, and this is your little shooty button. Okay. Uh, and this is your drive about button. Boop, boop, drive about. Your, your, oh. So my go is this. Yeah. Go jump. And what's that one again? Your little shooty button. Shooty. You go jump shoot. Okay. What's brake? Uh, I don't want to be speeding. I don't use brake. Oh my goodness. Okay. I didn't know there was a brake button in this goddamn game. Okay. Right. Well, uh, let's go. Also, if you press, if you hold and press that just after two, you get a little speed boost of the start. Okay. But what, I mean, you can do that if you want. I'm going to do it because I, I'm not going to take this easy on you. Okay. Even though I've played this, I've played this quite a lot and you haven't played it. I'm, I've got no time, I've got no time for taking it easy on people. I don't, I believe that's not how people grow and learn. So you can do the boost if you want, but watch out, you might stall your engine. And it's after two, I press it. After two. Three, two, one, hold it. Oh, oh I stole oh, it! Yes! <laughs> right, now it's gonna happen. Roscoe's gonna win the whole race. And who's up front? Probably someone. Now I've got. Uh, oh, oh, right. Okay, I'm in third. That's fine, I can deal with that. Oh, I crashed! Oh, actually, come on. You're supposed to be. Women drivers, eh? Oh, no, hey, we're not allowed to say that. <laughs> Come on, Ashley, this is a 2018 show. I can not say a, whatever I want, you bitch. Not a potato grating show. Dun, dun, wow, dun, 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 dun. Oh, I thought I was collecting bananas. Oh, oh, God, I threw my red shell back the way instead of forwards the way that I wanted to. I'm in ninth so place. You? You're tenth tenth place. place. There's only 12 people in this oh, race, Ashley. Oh, did you see that? Oh, I seen it. Little clouds popped out my butthole. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. It's just a fun game for all the fans. I literally feel travel sick already. Wow, the person, whoever's in first place, is really nailing this. It's I mean, Dave. Dave? Oh, yeah. it's, it's actually it's me. I'm terrible. Oh, look at that. What have I got? What have I got? What treats have I got? Oh, I need cash. Can't, can't, no! I can't lose this. Damn it. <laughs> Throw my bottom out. Oh, I got, I got one of them. I got one of them. Right, okay. Come on now. No, not me. Not I. No, 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 no. Give me my shell back, you goofs. Oh, he's in the first place now. Come on, Ross. No, I have seen that coming. I'm trying to avoid it. What are you uh, shouting about? Everything. Why are you blind. being so aggressive? I just got zapped by lightning because a wizard doesn't like me or something. And now you're like, oh no, I'm in third place. Right, listen, Ashley, I am a, a white male, and you know what? The, the time you of, deserve better. Right, the time <laughs> of white males is up, and so when I get uh, things happen to me, I'm like, well, is that really dead? Ashley that? moves up to sweet ninth place. Wow, okay. okay. I am so yes, good at this game. Now. Oh no, come on. Oh, mushrooms! Come on, come on. 
Come on, you get that, eat that slip. Oh no, I had a thing. Uh, I had a thing. And I move up to eighth. This is like when you get a three star review at the fringe. <laughs> 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 oh, we're not at it. You know, you can use your wee boosty mushroom there. I didn't know. I don't know how to use it. Flying around you. Well, I thought he was just a friend. Well, you know what? You've you done really well there, actually. I made it from, I got, I was in 12th and I made it up to 8th. You and that's, it. that's an achievement, Roscoe, for somebody who's never played it and who doesn't like putting the buttons this far in. That's that was difficult because I've got, got tiny thumbs. You go from the start to the finish. I did. We, if we have another thing, will we motor through the rest of it and just do another one? Or is, it, is that cool? We done yeah, this. Yeah. Um. Do you wanna? I think crack on with the next. Let's the next crack on the next one. one. Okay. What did you think of the game though, actually? It was nice. I liked it. It was colourful. It made me feel a little bit dizzy. Roscoe confused me with a lot of his shouting about things because he just seemed really angry, and I didn't understand what he was angry for. And um, because games are fun and, you know, you don't have to be a little bitch baby about them. That's it, actually. Games are fun. Games are... Ooh, I'm under water! Games are like, I know, I know. <gasps> oh, I like this. This is fun. Uh, it's not a Sonic thing. You don't drown or anything like that. So... Again, stop mentioning drowning. Oh, sorry. It's I a don't... family pastime. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you know, I enjoy... Uh, family pasta time. That's what I have with oh, my... I love pasta, mate. Oh, yeah, it's really good. I'm not even pressing accelerate. <laughs> did you know that pasta... Why do I keep throwing things up? Right, okay. I tell you what, I don't know how to stop this game. But, uh, you know what? You want to keep going and I will just talk about the other games? Yeah, yeah. There you go. Right, okay. So, you keep racing and I will keep talking. Oh, God, I'm going the wrong way now. So, uh, Ashley, while you're still playing Marigar... Uh, the game that got you angry. Oh, I got this game for the Wii and it was from Japan, I think, and it was called Job Island. And I really like games yeah. where you do little tasks and like have to, like there's a lot of variation in it rather than just doing the same thing over and over and over again, which is probably why I've not played Mario Kart yet because it's pretty much just... Yeah, it's pretty much just that, although there is a lot of skill involved. Yeah, no, there's definitely, you, uh, there's a load the of skill. skill. No, I don't have the use. natural skill, you're absolutely no. right. Um, yeah. But I, I accept that because again, games for me aren't about being a big like, yes, I'm so good at stuff because I'm good at stuff in the real world so I don't need this to validate me. Oh, well, um, you. I know. <laughs> But, um, this Mommy. thing... <laughs> Mummy! Am I good now? I managed to beat Street Fighter! Um, so I got this game called Job Island, I think it was yeah. called, and these people had like light bulbs on their heads, yeah. and you had to like save the world from a giant asteroid that was coming to kill it by doing little jobs to buy stuff to defeat the asteroid, but it was yeah. so glitchy, and there was one specific level where you had to toss pizza, and it just never worked and I couldn't work out because it was for the Wii so it was, you know, yeah, the yeah, Wii yeah. was hella glitchy sometimes. It was, it wasn't a great, it was, uh, a, no, it it was, was a great console. It was it a great console, it just, if it wasn't very simple movements, yeah. it could be so glitchy and for me that was like glitcherama. It was just hell. That's like Futurama but full of glitches. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to stop playing this now because I realise that it's being quite intrusive yeah. into this interview because oh, I'm just yeah. like, oh yes, seventh place, one better than last time. Oh, well yeah, done, well, Ashley. I, I, came, I came first there and I wasn't even trying. So just no, you everyone, didn't. I did. Look at me right there. Bowser Jr. first. Uh, so everyone note that down in a little notepad. Roscoe is brilliant and now he's not angry at games because he finally won and he feels good about himself. And that's what games are for. So, yeah, so uh, Job Island. Um, there was, yeah, so you had to like toss a pizza and then catch it. Yeah. And you could usually, within the Wii, you could work out what the actual movement was meant to be because the instructions were never right. Yeah. So you'd trial and error, you would work it out. I realise I'm just doing wanky hand right now, yeah. but that was essentially the whole game, was just doing that a Dude, lot. Just, <laughs> yeah. I don't even know if they toss pizzas in real pizza places. I saw two old men giving each other mutual hand jobs outside our flat the other night, and one of them looked like a thin Father Christmas. Wow, what did the other one look like? Just a normal guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least they were having a nice time. It was super quick. It was like Coronation Street break. They ran from opposite ends of the estate, went like that really fast, and then ran away. Hey, listen, guys know how to. If there's one thing guys know how to do is jack off dicks. Okay. Next question. <laughs> well, you know so what? Job Island, it was, it was, I, I think the reason it pissed me off so much is because I actually enjoyed it. 
and I wanted to be good at it and I couldn't be good at it because it was broken. So, oh God, well, you know what, let's backtrack, give Mario Kart a rating. Uh, fantastic game, always been a fantastic game, will continue to be a fantastic but game. But is it really? Yeah, it really No, is. because it's, it's just the one thing over and over and over again. There's no development. You're not like finding anything or doing anything fun. You can't go back and collect all the gems. And that's why it's such a good game. Don't fix it if it's broken. Uh, I'll give a rating to the game that got you angry. I'll, I used to, there was a game I once had in the PlayStation. Can't remember, it was from Japan. Very small, like little mini games that rolled into one game. It was little mini games that rolled into one yeah. game, yeah. I thought it was great. I like this addition of like, you better get a goddamn job or a meteor where a face is going to destroy the yeah. fucking world. Uh, and that meter looked angry, so I believe him. Um, I'll give that, uh, even though I've never played it, I'll give that a rating out of, uh, well, you know what, I'm going to give it zero out of whatever. Okay. Just because I believe you. Thank you. What was Mario Kart score? What was Mario, what was Mario Kart score? Uh, <laughs> I'm giving a straight 10 out of, I'm, I'm going to give it a total, I'm going to give it 10 out of 10. I'm not, I'm going to give it, like, uh, it's pretty, it's fun, it's cool, but where's the, where's the drama? Yeah. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Yeah, well, you I'd like more backstories, I know. You just bought it, so enjoy that. Yeah, but I don't pay rent, so I've got a lot of money to spunk on stuff I don't need. What's the game that got away from you, Ashley? Story? Um, all of Zelda. Good. All of Zelda, because I feel like I can't play the new ones because I don't understand the context or the backstory or what's going on. Mm. And I wish I'd, I wish because I didn't have a Nintendo, I had a Sega. Yeah. Um, and I didn't know anybody with a Nintendo. Yeah. I couldn't really. Listen, I'm the same. I couldn't know, really get into it. I was a little Sega. Sega. It's something that I, I would love to be if there was like a. If there is, is there like a box where you can buy the whole like history of it and play through it because that's what I did with Assassin's Creed and I'd like to go back and play it right from the start so I know all of the history and the lore and the canonical storyline. Do you know, that's, that's a great idea. There's also I have the issue of people I've met who are really into it. Yeah. Tend to be a bit weird. Yeah, they're weirdos. Not like in a bad way because I know I'm really into Star Trek and I know that that makes me weird but when I meet Zelda people and they use all these things and words and they've got like shield backpacks i'm just like i hate that i don't understand what's going on here because oh. i'm that person who will spend a lot of money on turd yeah. and just be like oh look at me in my harry potter robe with my star trek yeah. phaser set to cool. stand. i mean star trek's not a little boy in tights you know <laughs> <laughs> no there oh. isn't no no wesley crusher always a little boy in tights so yeah. you're wrong yeah, star trek at, did have a little boy in tights but look at him now he grew up didn't he so Mm. He became a real boy. That little boy in Zelda still a wee boy. Oh, I'm Link. I'm Link. What are you? A fucking corridor? Linking two things together? Are you or a Link? Corridor? Or are you on a chain? Yeah, are you on a chain? Are you a tiny URL that links to scary porn? Yeah, what are you? What you are little, you, Link? You little freak. You little weirdo. <laughs> you little Peter Pan knockoff. Yeah, so will we just get past Zelda because it's terrible? I'm going to play. I'm going to play. The, the the wind valley thing you're a traitor no i'm going to play it but i need to i need to play the other things i want to know what an ocarina is first you you set me you set me up to call zelda fans weirdos i did not you did i you did, did not i was just expressing that, that i don't like when i don't understand a fandom and i like to know a fandom and i can't play it and be a fan until i understand the fandom and i want to know what an ocarina is and i want to play it but i want to understand the whole thing and so i'm going to play it eventually once i've done all my research what's the score for that one? Oh, score for that one give it a one, I little, give it a, one boy out of I give it, boys i give it one tight leg one tight leg oh <laughs> out of two tight legs out of two wow that's 50 50. yeah Unless you're a dog wearing tights. That is true. <gasps> I want to see that. Oh, hey, that would really change up the old uh, Robin Hood. Yeah, Robin yeah. Hood, dogs in tights. Oh, yeah. That was my first ever, like... Crush? Sexual awakening was oh. the fox Robin Hood. You know, the hot Disney fox. Yeah, hey, he was. He had all the... And then there was, like, the Johnny Cash cockerel mm. in the middle of, like, Sherwood Forest. That was ba -ba -ba -ba. such a weird ba -ba -ba. film. A sexy chicken. Yeah. It was a really sexy chicken. Am I right, ladies? I'm right. Or gentlemen. I'm I'm sorry, I stand corrected. Am I right, people? I'm right. Next. Right now, Ashley, I've got a little bone to pick with you. Because this is a is game. It, is it only a little bone? It's a little bone. It's a game where you can pick up bones and bury them in the dirt to make <laughs> things. 
Or you um, can have a bone crusher which does it for you, you just have to have a really high dungeoneering level. Uh, Ashley, well, what's the what's the game changer? The game changer for you? RuneScape, RuneScape, RuneScape. I love RuneScape, and people keep saying, "Oh, didn't the server shut down?" No, old school RuneScape shut down, but RuneScape is still thriving, beautiful and exciting. I have capes. I have such good weapons. I have been building. Don't look at. I <laughs> I had an account before, right, and it got hacked, and somebody stole my abyssal whip. By a vampire. And then I tried to get in touch with Jagex to get my account thing, and they were like, no. So then I fell out with them for two years, and then I started my new account. I'm talking very fast, and I'm going to slow down. Hey, you talk as fast as you want about I just love it. Yeah, well, I. I mean, I'm, I'm, I was a big Diablo 2 fan, which was a much better game. So, uh, me, RuneScape, I call it Run Escape. Because you should run away and escape from that fucking game. Have you ever actually played it? Never played it, but I know well, the Well then mechanics. how can you- no, no, no. It looks like a pile of bollocks. It was invented in two young men's kitchen. Their mum drew the cows that then later became the in-game cows. It is it a magical land where you can be whoever you want to be. It has a very good social conscience. You can donate money to charities through it. They have special events where you can raise money for special effects, which is a um, gaming organisation which helps create computers oh. for people with severe disabilities okay, so that they can play and have fun. It's an amazing game with an amazing community and I love it. And I've been in my clan for years and I've made great friends across the world because of it. I love RuneScape. Yeah, but it's fucking shit. It's not! <laughs> it's a beautiful game. You just, you can't comment. You've not played it. You've not immersed yourself in the magical kingdom, the kingdoms of Falador. <laughs> What's your issue with it? What's your ish bish? It just looks bad. It looks bad. It looks bad. But that's, that's literally what you could say about you or me. Hey, we look great. We don't. We, we don't. Do. We, we do. We're sweaty. We've got weird hair. You wear far too much denim, I wear far too many dungarees, I'm wearing 16 pound shoes for Lidl. We don't, we look bad. People would see us in the street and be like, get away from them, they look like they're bad. That's like RuneScape, it might look bad, but it's wonderful. And it's so much better than World of Warcraft, they're all creepy dudes. Yeah, they are, they are losers. World of Warcraft, I tried to play it, it was so frightening. I ended up in an inn and then I think I was in like an online brothel. I don't know why, but people kept offering me money for sex, and I was like, I'm a computer game character. <laughs> I Did you take the money? No. I have scripples. Oh, yeah, is that the currency? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very funny. I'm very funny. I'm very yeah. funny. Uh, right, well, uh, actually, you know, you, you almost changed my mind about RuneScape. I still I just think, think it's RuneScape. I think we should play it. I think that one day we just play it. And I'll let you play on my character because she's super cool and she's got loads of levels and you know what. Uh, like Avicii? Avicii levels? Did he die? Yeah, he died. R.I.P. Avicii, you and Bowser up the sky. Uh, wait, was it Bowser that I killed earlier on? No. Wrap it up. You and Dr. Robotnik, Avicii up the sky. This is so inappropriate. Fine about. Uh, right, let's wrap this up like a little sandwich in a deli. Ladies and gentlemen, what about a score for RuneScape? 10 out of 10 jelly beans. Ten out of, is it a jelly beans a thing you do in it? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10 little swords of Erised. Oh, no. Anyway. 10 out of 10 bone crushers. 10 out of 10 bone crushers. Mm, 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 mm. So, ladies and gentlemen, well, uh, I'll finish this up by talking to the main camera. Uh, Ashley, thank you for joining me on this uh, never-ending Tron maze of terror. Thank you for having me. I don't know how I'm going to get back out. You've got a, there's a door over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to the audience slash camera. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, and if you've not already, if you've not already done this, then well, how are you watching? Um, but if you haven't already done this, make sure you hit the subscribe button, subscribe, or the subscribe, subscribe button, as well as the notification bell, ding dong, to be notified when new videos go live on the channel, that is the BBC Social Gaming channel, and why not tell us what, uh, why not tell us what your five games are in the comments below. Ladies and gentlemen, until next time on YLI 5G, thank you very much, and oh, float away somewhere else, bye. Bye.